Hello everybody. I wanted to talk about how this mod system works. It's very powerful and I don't think I got across how it worked in the uh, video I made earlier because that was just me doodling. So I'm going to show you a concrete example of it working. And I'm also going to go ahead and create another nascent mod just so you can see it happen. Uh, none of these mods do anything yet because the game doesn't have that much functionality. But I've got the mod system working. I am still using scriptable objects for the mod wrangling. Now, why is that? That's because the uh, scriptable objects exist outside of the scene framework, and therefore the mods can add themselves to a project-wide list and sort themselves and figure out when each one of them should load and all of that stuff without being beholden to a scene, and without requiring you to manually add them to any given list. So you can just throw these scriptable objects into the project and they will automatically load up. So I've got this mod called Electricity. I'm going to hit play and we're going to go ahead and see exactly what happens. Electricity enabled. One mod loaded. I didn't have to add it to a list and or any of that stuff. I've also got two weather patterns loaded. They load after the mods. Uh, and then I've got the universe level and the facility level for the electricity. So uh, as you can see, each mod gets pinged. Uh, on universe preload, universe postload, facility preload, facility postload makes it super easy to figure out how to inject your code and it comes with a facility mod readout which I specified here and uh, that means that every mod can do basically anything at once without actually interfering with anything else now I said I was going to go ahead and create an additional mod so let's just go ahead and duplicate electricity and we'll call this one electricity one uh, we'll, we'll rename it uh, Duple. Okay, there. And we're going to go over here, clear it, and hit play. You can now see that it goes Duple enabled, electricity enabled, two mods loaded, and each one of them has their own readout. This readout is also a handy dandy grid that will uh, expand or contract as you need it to and can be shifted if it falls off the bottom of the screen. So, in this way, I'm really hoping that these mods come together. Now, obviously, the mod content hasn't been injected yet, but that is basically the same procedure. Uh, and I thought you might want to see just how easy it is to make all of this stuff work out. Oh, and of course, I also have it so the mods can get called. Uh, there are lots of events that the mods can get called in in the long run. For now, however, the day event is uh, uh, one of them. They both have the same human name, which is why they both say core electricity. If I wanted to change the, this, there, because uh, the file names are often pretty opaque. There we are. That's how the system works. You can just toss mods in, and they will sort themselves out. They will add whatever the content they need to add. They'll get called whenever they need to get called. And you can just drag and drop code uh, bits and, and targets into these events. And it's uh, very flexible, doesn't require as much coding, and uh, is much, much easier to use. So that's why I'm so fascinated by this idea. Uh, this game hasn't gotten very far yet, but you can see how it, it might work in the long run.